morning guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video i'm using my couple of hours exercise today to walk to chris's i rung him up and he's put the sierra outside for me he's left the keys on it so i'm just walking down now it is about a 10 minute walk and i'm just going to go through quite a few bits that were picked up in the comment section um, and it will answer the majority of the questions. So I just thought I'd cut in now. We're all already only a couple of minutes away. Let's head there and um, I'll cut back in as soon as we get there. And uh, we do a video. He's got here and he said that he's put the car outside and left the keys on it for me. So hopefully we can uh, start it up as well. Perfect. Right, we'll start on the side that are polished straight away. And we start on this quarter panel. I've got a stand at a bit of an angle so that you can get a gist of just how bad it is. You can see all that swirling now. And the, let me try and get a better angle on it. I don't know if to make it darker or lighter, but you can see that there is, it's terrible. And then when you come down here, see that shows it really, really good. And that is literally, sorry, I'm going to keep putting my hand up there. It is literally all over the whole car. Obviously, you've got all these as well. This one's missing. There's quite a lot of rust in there. You've got that rust on the boot lid there. You've got another little bit pickling up there. It obviously had the lower spoiler bolted on it at one point. So that's going to have to be repaired. And then picking up on the, the keys on the petrol cap in particular, the when we took the fuel cap out. No, don't put them on there. You can see that, guys. It's honestly terrible. And then we move up to the spoiler. Again, you got a mark here. You got all cracking around the bolt holes. And there is various scratches all the way through it. All the way along. And here it's quite chipped up badly. Let's move down to the lower tailgate. And that does show just how bad that is in there. There's a de also a dent here. And obviously it is all scratched up here as well. I know a lot of this will come out, but it, it's, it's got to be perfect. So it is going to need paint. Also, I did notice, you can see that clearly now, I can see it. There's quite a large dent there in the, um, in the tailgate, boot lid, trunk, whatever you'd like to call it. The Nürburgring sticker, I did start getting half of that off, but I will get all of it off and give it a real good clean up. The back bumper, you know, these cars, they're very, very old. And if they haven't bumped into something, then they're like one owner cars that don't leave the garage. The lights quite cracked up. Let's carry on along this side. Again, as usual, I know this video is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but so many people reached out to me. I thought, you know, what? I've got to exercise anyway, why not? So, as you can see, those pickles, those little micro blisters, they're absolutely everywhere. And they was clear as day through that dust. You could see them, there was no getting away from it. See, if we go close there, and I show how bad they are, and then we come away, obviously, yeah, it does look beautiful from a metre away, but I hope that that is answering quite a few questions. The door lock has had some repairs, so you can see it is all popping around there. Now that is quite a common place for all of the old folds, so that is gonna need doing. Again, this door, it does look quite nice, and it is quite nice. When you look there like that, you can see my reflection clearly, but when you move along, see all those micro blisters? So I am afraid, I'm really sorry, but there's not a detailer in the world that can recover those, you know, that can get rid of those. It's, it's impossible. Again, now we're moving on to the front wing. You can see there, it's had a little touch up at some point. So that's gonna need correcting, obviously. And you've got all micro blisters here. So she is going to need a full repaint. And even on the plastic, it's all blistering up. So, a couple of people said, well, that's because you put the truck wash on it. And it's not because I used the TFR 
it wasn't truck wash it was tfr traffic film remover so moving on to the bonnet quite a very bad dent a lot of you sent me that link for that video with the guy driving it and that dent was actually in it then and you can see that this bonnet was another color again the vents all the paints cracking off them so they need painting the front bumper it's obviously bumped into a garage wall or touched the back of another car and that's caused that all there on the front headlights around it's all chipped up the rubbers are off of it as well so that's all going to want gluing on so moving on to the passenger side that i didn't polish now you can actually see how bad it is all these scratches would polish out but all of these paint chips will not polish out and they are all paint chips sorry that noise is probably quite annoying on camera the wheel arch is all scratched the mirror has been replaced and it was silver and you can see it was probably done with a rattly can because it is all coming off and then the passenger side i'm just wiping a bit of dust off there you can see how dull it is and we know that this does polish up quite nice but when you move along here you got all your micro blisters there's also a dent right here i don't know if you can see that on yep you can see that the body kit and side skirts all seem to be fitted quite nice still and they've all kept their shape quite nice um all of the numbers uh, all of the registrations in all of the windows all tally up so they're absolutely fine and again passenger door lock has got some damage around it and that's going to need repairing I did forget to mention, on the driver's door, we did get a door with the car. So we'll be replacing that one if we can't repair that round the lock. And this one, obviously, will have to have some work. I believe there's a little repair panel that you can buy for these. So moving here, again, you've got um, a bit of, rust, bit of a rust bubble coming up there. There's a little dent there in the uh, B pillow, pillar, rather. Um, and again, all the micro blisters in the paint all the way around it various little digs and nicks and here again we've got two pieces of paint completely removed this back quarter panel is probably the worst part a little bit of surface rust around here obviously all the blisters quite a nasty gouge through there a chip here and then obviously there's quite a large chip here as well and we've got the holder at the lower spoiler on it so, all in all, it is going to need a full repaint. There's no getting away from it. Bird muck on the roof. Burn all the way through the paint. You can hear, if I rub there, you can hear the difference. That's actually gone right down that as the, you'd never ever get that out. So I really do hope that that has answered a lot of the questions and the comments regarding you need to get a detailer on it and get it polished and it's not as bad as you think guys you know we went right over it including when it was covered in dust and we knew from day one this car was going to need a repaint um, obviously there's quite a lot of questions in the videos that i can't answer because if i answered the questions there'd be no content for the next video um, Quite a lot of you want to see underneath it. I've actually already done a whole video on the underneath of the car. So that will come at a later date. Um, quite a lot of you ask, you know, are we doing a full repaint? And that was part of today's video. Yes, we will be doing, sorry, I'm rustling around trying to find the keys now. I don't know where I put them. Um, we will be doing, a, having a full repaint done on the car. The rattling on the engine, quite a lot of people is it um is it the big end bearings is it it sounds like this it sounds like that well you'll all be pleased to know that me and chris did run it up for quite a period of time after we stopped recording that last video and as you can hear now the tapping has actually completely stopped i'm just going to pull to put up the bonnet cap just thinking then i'd like to give it a couple of blips as well like give it a little bit of a rev and i thought well, how am i going to hold my camera and rev that up and then i remembered 
when we got the lockdown, I've left my truck in the yard and I've got my house keys with me. And in here, we've got the broken spare tripod. So that was a bit of luck. We'll have to be careful though, because the little rubber's missing out the top of it and it keeps dropping the foam. But we'll let this warm up for five minutes and we give it a bit of a rev. It's been running now for about 10 minutes and we are up to a quarter on a temperature. So obviously I can't go too mad because we still haven't been able to get a cam belt. It never sounds brilliant on camera and engine running but that does sound absolutely beautiful and as it should now so we're quite happy that the oil obviously got up to the hydraulic lifters and uh, that new oil and it seems to be over the moon with that and sounds absolutely spot on now let's get it turned don't up. forget this is literally just going to be a video to answer a few questions and obviously I've just used my exercise to come and do it. A lot of people said, what are the wheels? I don't actually know. The name's not written on them. They are a multi-fitment wheel, but they are 17 inch. And a really, really popular question was about the brakes. Guys, it does have enormous wheelwood brake set up on it. And we have got a plan for that. So, you know, watch this space. It is gonna be in another video. We don't wanna get into that too much, but yeah, it does have wheelwood brakes. And I will just point that just up there to show that some a lot of people was right. It has been lowered. We believe the rear brakes are completely standard. And again, there's a bit of a telltale sign through there that it has been lowered on that corner as well. I really do hope this has answered a lot of questions. I'm probably going to walk home now and kick myself and think, oh, what about that, Rob? You didn't answer that. So, fingers crossed, this does answer quite a lot of your questions. But, yeah, it's got quite big wheelwood brakes on it. They look in really nice condition as well. Obviously, the discs are quite rusty. But apart from that... It's looking good so far. It really is looking good. We haven't had anything, any hidden surprises jump out on us that we wasn't expecting. Just as I was bending down there then, I thought, someone's gonna notice that. Where's that come from? And I've walked straight round and bent down underneath. And as you can see, that bottom water hose, it's all coming out the Jubilee clip. I did leave it running there for 10 minutes and all of them have got to come off and be redone. And the header tank was up to the maximum on the water. And you can see now it's gone down to there. So it has dumped about a litre of water out underneath. So lucky we did turn that off and didn't wander off and uh, leave it running for a couple of hours. The last couple of things I need to pick up on, the interior. That's gonna be a whole nother video. So that is to come. Don't panic, you know, we will be putting that out there. Right, the last thing I'd really like to cover is the rubber seals. Quite a lot of people said you was way too close with a jet wash. The jet wash, to be fair and to put it mildly, is it wouldn't pull the skin off of a rice pudding. It's very, very low pressure. And if you don't hold it close, it doesn't even touch it. Also, the seals on the car are perfect and there was no ingress of water when I was jet washing it. If you have a look at all of the rubber seals, they're all absolutely perfect. I was not jet washing the rubber seals, just the paint. Anyway, let's not get uh, negative about it. From here, it absolutely looks beautiful and doesn't look like it's got a mark on it. And I really do hope that today's video has answered quite a lot of questions and it has shown that it is far from perfect. I did say in the initial video, the car is very, very straight. 
and the car is straight for a car of this era and this age. I will just say about the door, a couple of people said about the door here. And we looked at it and the, the catch is quite low down there. We can adjust that up and we'll get that door back exactly where it should be. Even this side looks brilliant on camera, but we haven't even touched it with polish, but it is quite bad this side with all the scratches. Just come out to the field to shout and wave goodbye to Chris. I could hear him down here working as usual on his tractor, clearing up some fallen down trees. So I started walking home then and I realized that I hadn't even ended the video. So I've just quickly come in, got changed and thought, I better put an end on the video. Um, yeah. Just let me know what you think of that video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I think I covered a lot of the questions there. And when someone throws a question out there and I answer it, I sometimes take for granted, well, I've answered that, so that's the end of that. And then that message will creep down and the next person will ask a very similar question. And I, sh I shouldn't think that they've read that. I know a lot of people do enjoy the comment section. I enjoy going in there and reading through them and it is really, really good. So. Not everybody does, and they do miss some of the questions that I've answered, which is absolutely fine. I just thought I'd do this video, and it really does cover quite a lot of it across the board. That will be the end of today's video, finally. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We put out these videos all the, all of the time, and it's all based on different stuff. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. For the little sneak peeks throughout the day, Instagram, Selvage Rebuilds. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you all very much for watching. I nearly forgot, check out the merch. The link is in the description. And we'll see you all very soon in the next one.